It barely matters if Chuck Hagel decided to step down on his own or was forced out. His departure leaves President Obama to clean up a mess of his own making. Hagel was almost no one's idea the best qualified person when he was appointed, which is why his fellow Republicans in the Senate nearly all voted against him. They suspected he was chosen by a president seeking a malleable Republican who wouldn't resist Mr. Obama's plans to further downsize the military and reduce this country's footprint in the world. After an embarrassingly inept performance in his confirmation hearing, he was approved by the smallest margin in the history of the job of defense secretary. This was never going to end well. But one of the ways it ended badly is a surprise. When the ISIS threat emerged, Hagel started telling the truth about it, as did senior military commanders under him. That put Hagel and his Joint Chiefs chairman at odds with the White House, which wanted to do something about ISIS, but not very much. Hagel, who was hired to represent the White House to the Pentagon, ended up doing the reverse, at least on ISIS. On that score, his tenure looks a bit like that of his predecessors, Bob Gates and Leon Panetta, who both advised President Obama against courses of action the president preferred, which now leaves president o for the president over for three in his quest for a pliant Secretary of Defense.